Hello and welcome to the latest Windocs update. Today we're going to look at a simple workflow for how SQL Server containers are used to support both development and test. We're going to use the new Windocs Community Edition, which is a free download that runs on both Windows 8 and Windows 10 and is limited to five containers. We'll also use a Windows 8 laptop. The process begins by building a container with the right data. We'll use a Docker file for this. Windoc supports both adding and mounting SQL Server databases through a Docker file. I've switched to my Docker client, and we can take a look at the images that are available on this machine. You can see that I have .NET support as well as SQL Server 2012, and a couple of previously uh, created custom SQL images. And I'll begin by building the Docker file that we took a look at earlier. The first thing that a build does is it copies that uh, database into the container context. And when the container is started, Windocs will handle the automatic attaching uh, to that SQL instance. The build has been completed, and we can take note that uh, each container has a unique ID. There's a port at which it's accessible. In the case of SQL, we have an SA password that I've chosen to display. And at this point now, we can go ahead and save this uh, container as a custom image, because I believe it is what my development team needs. So I'll commit this container. I can reference a three first digits of its ID, give it a new name. And the commit is very fast. Now at this point, we can go ahead and start that a new container based on this image. Now, containers are both fast, but they're also immutable. Once we create an image, it will be identical for all subsequent users. And we can share this on a single VM. So this image uh, container, the SQL instance is starting up now. And in the startup process, it will also attach uh, that uh, AdventureWorks database. Well, the database has been uh, created and started now. I'm going to switch to SQL Management Studio to confirm that this is the image I want to share. The container is available at port 10004. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the database and I can see that it is uh, present and this is really how simple it is to create containers and images to share with your dev and test teams. If you're interested to learn more, visit our website and give us a call and we'll love to talk to you.